next time eat a salad. Religion and politics often make some people lose all perspective and give way to renting and ripping and carrying on like emotional children who then refuse to discuss it with reason or else we prefer argument hominem, which is a hell of a way to conduct a discussion. Well, anyhow, not long ago I was talking about the elections and how the campaigns were ignoring the issues and sticking instead to inspective and personal craft that had nothing to do with the substantive problems of running a government, which is all true as you know if you follow the speeches and so-called debates of the candidate. Anyhow, one of the guys I was talking with said not a word in the whole conversation except the end when he suddenly chuckled and said, we're awful of shit, why didn't we go live in Russia or China if that was the way we all hated the United States of America? Next thing you know, the whole meeting session was more like a frolity and that blue kid of him was incredible. Someone said, son of a bitch, and I think he said bastard. I couldn't be sure. It was all too confusing. Well, anyhow, I was attempting to get it all back on a rational level. I tried, for example, to talk to the one who had started it all, and I asked him, just what did he mean, we're all full of shit? Was he making a statement of fact as he knew it, and where's his uh, documentation to back up his claim? I think Socrates would have been proud about the way I refuted his argument, that is, I tried to refute it. But all he could offer by way of rebuttal was more of the same about how we're all full of shit than he would say why he just kept on repeating it. Then the part about Russia and China and communist nukes and we have to confess that I got a bit angry and told him to stub his ideas and his shit which you don't have to tell me is hardly a way to convince anyone in an argument. Then he got solemnly and he threatened to give me a punch in the mouth if I didn't shut up. Then I really got up, then the others did too and we all beat the shit out of Mr. Conservative and after all, he had only himself to be blamed. It's still a free country and anyone telling a fellow like me whether you're full of shit that, it, that he couldn't be ready to answer for a likely when it has to be cared if it's no